So in trade discounts, which are typically utilized in a merchandising chain, okay, so between different companies, you can think of having a discount to try to entice you in some way to buy the product. So in this video, I'm going to go over the following. So what is the role of a trade discount? And then provide you some details on list price, the actual discount itself. So a little bit of math behind it, calculating the net price. And in trade discounts, sometimes you get multiple discounts. And that is called a discount series. And within that discount series, you can calculate the net price factor. And I'll talk about what that is. So before we jump into trade discounts, where do they happen? So I mentioned merchandising chain. So I have kind of this little picture here where you can imagine that if you want to create a product, well, that product is going to be maybe manufactured okay, by some company and that company is going to get some raw materials maybe and then do its thing and create a product. Now, in order to make money, okay, you notice that the manufacturer is going to mark up the price. So they're going to increase the price by a certain amount. And when they increase the price, we call that in this kind of chain between companies, uh, after that markup, you get something called the list price. So basically the regular price of the item as it would be sold with the markup added. Now, what happens is that this list price that we have, so we have this right here, often what companies will do when they're selling to other companies in between, they will try to provide a discount on this to kind of entice you to buy. So trade discounts are basically a discount to entice another company to buy your product. So if you're going to be reducing it by a certain price, maybe for a limited time, or maybe if you buy a certain amount of product, you're going to get a discount. So we have our list price and then we subtract the, the trade discount. And sometimes there are multiple discounts and you'll see that. Now, after we do the subtraction, we basically get a net price. So net is the net of the discount. And that is the price, let's say, per item that a company would get. Now, in this merchandising chain, because it is a chain between different types of companies within a chain before it gets to the consumer, because manufacturers don't typically sell directly to the consumers, although nowadays they may. And what happens is that that net price that the manufacturer comes up with, they will okay, sell it off, let's say, to maybe a wholesaler. Now, so the wholesaler buys the product and of course they want to make money and you notice that we basically repeat the process so the wholesaler now is going to mark up what they have paid for okay because they have to incorporate all their costs of running their business and they create again a list price now of course this list price is different than the previous list price okay so it is a little bit maybe possibly higher depending on the discounts and then they play the game again and then they will try to entice other companies okay by providing some discounts and we call them a trade because it is a trade between one so in this case a manufacturer and a wholesaler and now the wholesaler will do the same thing so they will have a regular price which is called a list price after the markup and then they will try to entice you to buy Okay, by providing you a trade discount. And you get a net price again, and this chain continues on so nicely. All right, and now maybe there's other steps in between other companies. I have just drawn this straight back into a retailer. So retailer is maybe a possibly a regular store that you have that you purchase from. And the retailer now also wants to make money and they will mark up the price so notice multiple markups along this chain 
And in this case, because the retailer sells to the consumer, we don't really say it is a list price. We kind of say it's a regular price, although a list price and regular price kind of mean the same thing. And now the retailer will also provide some discounts, and these are called markdowns. Now, in this video, we really just care about the trade discount. So I'll talk about that. But I wanted to show you this merchandising chain as you kind of go along the path, right, from all the way to, let's say, a manufacturer. And now, as you can see, okay, so it gets back into the consumer. So the consumer eventually gets the product. Now, our goal in this video is going to be all about these trade discounts. So what the heck are they? All right. So I've already said that uh, basically a trade discount we have, it is nothing else but simply a tool that we use to entice okay, others to buy. And that's what really discounts are, entice others to buy. So that's what we want them to do. Now, those trade discounts happen only between the different companies. So maybe a manufacturer and a wholesaler and a wholesaler and a retailer. Okay, so that's where those trade discounts happen. You don't trade with a consumer uh, directly. Okay, so we would say that that would be uh, kind of a markdown that we would have. So trade discounts are basically between the companies. And you can kind of maybe rewind the video if you like and see that okay, within the manufacturer and all the way down to the retailer. Now, a discount is just a discount. And we typically are used to discounts overall. And what a company will do is they will provide you a certain amount of discount that you have. And I'll write it just for short here, so amount of discount, okay, so it will be just AD. And it is nothing special. It's simply the fact that we want to have a discount, okay, of some kind. So in a discount, so I'll write D. And then this will be multiplied by your list price. Now, this discount is typically given as a percent, and then we convert this back into decimal, when we are trying to do their calculations. And of course, uh, list price, possibly, okay, depending on where you are in the world, so possibly dollars or euros or whatever it is that you have okay, as your currency. And that would calculate your discount. So simply put, what we have, okay, as an example, if you wanted to know, okay, so for instance, a company okay, might have a list price of $50, and what they'll say is it's less, and the less means okay, you're going to be subtracting, let's say, a 20% trade discount. So let's say this is your trade discount. I'll write it as a little TD. So that would mean that my total amount of discount, well, 20%, okay, as a decimal, if you divide by 100, is 0 0.2, and that is multiplied by your list price, which is $50, and that would simply mean that the trade discount, okay, on this item would be $10, okay? And if you recall from the merchandising chain, well, what happens is that you basically have to pay a net price, for that item, so that would be net price, and that is equal to simply your list price, so whatever the regular price might be, minus whatever discount you got. But notice that the amount of discount okay, is in dollars. So for this example, we had $50 as our list price, and we got a discount of 10%. So that was our trade discount, which would mean that we have that our net price would be $40 for each item that we pay. If we had okay, that one discount, which is right here, which is less 20%. So where do we go from here? Okay, so that seems all nice and fancy. And what happens is we typically don't really write you know, our equation as net price equals list price minus the amount of discount. We can save ourselves a little bit of time here. So what we like to do is we say that our net price is equal to, okay, and notice, so we have list price minus. Now, it's minus the amount of discount, but if you look 
at the amount of discount, okay, what you have is, which is right here, the amount of discount is simply your discount multiplied by your list price. And if you do a little bit of math, because you have L in both of these terms, you can take out the L, and if you take out the L from the first term, you're just going to have one remaining minus, okay, and then if you take out the L from there, you're going to have a D remaining. So that is a little bit of math here, and that would be typically our equation if you have just one discount within the product, all right? So that's our equation for the net price. So if anybody ever gives us, okay, the discount and we know the list price, then we can calculate it as we did in the previous example. So notice if we use this equation, 20% was 0 0.2, list price was $50. And if you substitute this back in, so this becomes 0 0.8 multiplied by the $50, and you would indeed get your $40 back. All right, so that's how we can find the net price. Now, there's many different examples, and I will provide some examples through, through videos. But here, I want to be able to cover kind of the various topics. All right, so let me scroll back here, okay, back to our agenda. So we know that the role of the trade discount is to entice companies to buy your product. We know that the list price is basically your regular price after you marked up your product. So the discount, which we have calculated as the amount of discount, is typically given as a percent. And we can find the net price by simply using a formula, okay, which is list price minus the amount of discount, right? So that's where we stopped. So let's take a look at now what happens is if a company wants to entice you to buy even more, they might give you more than just one discount. So, so far we have kind of one major key equation here for a net price. And now let's say a company wants to entice you even more, okay? So what they'll do is they'll try to give you more discounts, all right? So for instance, Maybe if you're only buying 100 products, you know, they'll give you one discount. But if you buy, let's say, more than 100 products, they might give you a second discount. And then if you buy, let's say, 1,000 products or maybe a million products, you will get, let's say, maybe even a third discount. So when we have more than one discount, we call this a discount series. Series because it is made up of multiple discounts. Okay, so this is a discount series series so what happens here okay so let me provide you okay so maybe let's say if we have a simple example so what a company might say and i'll use different numbers than the previous time so they might say okay so well i have a product for you and the product costs you 100 dollars but i'm going to try to entice you with all of these discounts so notice we use the word less and they'll say okay you know if you buy less than a 100 products, you'll get 10% off. But if you buy more, let's say, than 100, I'm going to give you an additional 5% off, for instance. And they can continue, right? They can just keep saying, you know, that you have more and more discounts, okay, after that. So when it is more than one discount, and in this case that we have two, this becomes a discount series because we have a multiple set of discounts. Now, please do not, okay, because this sometimes is the biggest error where anybody who's learning this, they try to add these discounts up, okay? So this is incorrect, okay? So you cannot, okay, do this. So this is incorrect. So we do not add them, all right? And I'll show you in, in just a second, okay, what we actually do, okay? So let me cover, okay, so something before I get into actually solving this particular little example here. So if we have multiple discounts, what we like to do, we could have done this already with the first discount, and I'll talk about this. What we like to do is we like to find something called a net price factor. Now, what the heck is a net price factor? Net price factor okay so NPF all right so what a net price factor does is it doesn't really care how much 
your list price is. What it cares about is the amount you will pay for each dollar. All right, so the amount paid for each dollar, okay, when you're purchasing something. Now, if you don't get any discounts, then you will just pay $1 for each dollar, right? So that's what, exactly what will happen. But, okay, if you have, okay, a discount, so now let's say, you know, we're paying $1, and if there are no discounts, then we still pay $1 for that $1. But let's say, okay, like in the previous example, okay, so the one that I wrote, let's say we have a discount of 10%. Well, now you no longer pay a dollar because, well, 10%, okay, is as a decimal is 0 0.1. And that means that on this dollar, we're only going to pay 90 cents because 10% discount would give us an actual discount on the dollar. So for each dollar, we pay only 90%. And if the discount is bigger, then obviously we pay even less. And that's what a net price factor does. A net price factor finds out how much you pay for each dollar. And if there are discounts, and in particular multiple discounts, then you're gonna pay less than a dollar for each dollar, okay? So the actual equation for this is the following, that the net price factor is equal to, and notice what we did just for that dollar with the 10%, what we did was we just subtracted the discount. So this is when you have just one discount and in the previous one well we paid 90 cents now what if someone came along and provided us a discount series where they said well maybe you had an additional five percent so what you do is you basically multiply this by this second factor with your second discount so let's say maybe this was 10 percent and this was five percent now we can substitute it here and find out exactly how much we pay for each dollar. Now, but I mentioned that you are not restricted just to two discounts. And the net price factor is actually for all the discounts you get. So depending, it might be one discount, it might be two discount, or it might be many, many more discounts. So you will keep multiplying by... Okay, your discounts, and I let's say I don't know how many discounts, so I'll put N here. So maybe three discounts or four discounts. And this is exactly what we would do. And that's a net price factor. For each dollar, how much do we actually pay? So for the example that I just gave you, the net price factor is equal to, so it was 10%. So notice we didn't, we're not going to be adding them. What we're doing is we're multiplying by these factors. And then they gave us a 5% discount, right? So we got 5%, so 5 and 10%. So I'm going to stop here because I only have two discounts. And this becomes, so this is now from here, 0 0.9 multiplied by 0 0.95. And now, so what I have is, okay, so I can multiply this through, okay, and this gives me 0 0.855. Now, what does this mean? It means that for the dollar, we're actually going to be paying 0 0.855. Now, please don't round this because this net price factor is actually used to find the net price that you pay for each product by multiplying this net price factor by simply the list price. And that's the beauty of this. So when we were doing this equation right here, when we wanted to find the net price, notice we had only a single discount. 
So really, this is just your net price factor, just with one discount. And then we multiplied by the list price. And we had an example here, and we would get our $40. But if you have multiple discounts, then you can find your net price factor, and then you can multiply it by your list price to get net price factor multiplied by your list price to get your net price. And this actually provides you everything you need about trade discounts in terms of the math. So trade discounts entice you to buy products. And in order to calculate them, you have to know the discount and also how many discounts if there are maybe multiple discounts that you are dealing with, that you have. So to end this thing off, let's imagine, okay, I'm gonna give you an example here. And this particular example, let's say that I have some manufacturer, manufacturer, Okay, that is selling an item with a list price. Of, let's say, $74.99. But it is providing you so less providing you some trade discounts and I'll do multiple discounts. And let's say it's 18% Right, so this is going to be a discount series, let's say 10%, let's make it even harder and let's put even 5% at the end. So this is your list price and these are your discounts. So the way that we could simply set this up if we were writing our given information, so we have our list price is equal to $74.99 and we have three discounts. Now, I'm going to take the discounts and turn them into decimal because that's what I wanna use. So notice 18% divided by 100 is 0.18. 10% is gonna be 0.1. And finally, my last discount is 5%. So let's first find, for instance, our net price factor. So how much do we pay for each dollar? And in this case, well, what we have is, remember, it's one minus the first discount multiplied by one minus the second discount. But in this case, I keep multiplying because I have a third discount, and that would be this. I'm going to substitute all of this in here, and I will be able to calculate fully what is my net price factor for this discount series. So this is your discount series because, because it is multiple discounts. So if I plug this back in, now this becomes 0 0.82 multiplied by 0 0.9 and multiplied by 0 0.95 can punch that into the calculator. So 0 0.82 times 0 0.9 times 0 0.95. And you get the following. And the meaning, again, is that for each dollar, this is how much you actually pay. So you pay about 70 cents, a little bit more. Again, remember, don't round. You don't want to round this. And the reason for that is because if somebody asks you to actually find the net price, what you need is you need this net price factor and you multiply it by the list price. So in this case, that would be, and the price was 74 99 And now we can find out so we have our net price factor times 74.99 and that is 
Now this, you do round because it is now back to money. So I'm going to round this to the cent. And that's how much we would actually pay for each product. So notice the list price was $74.99, but after the discounts, we're only going to pay $52.58. And this concludes what you should know about trade discounts. Now, of course, of course, there's multiple examples, and I actually do provide them on my channel, so you can search them out under trade discounts and you will find it and i'll try to maybe link them all under a playlist for you all right thank you for watching i hope you found this useful